Electric vehicles have a problem. It's not price or styling, and it's not necessarily performance. What's really keeping EV drivers on the edge of their seats is range anxiety, the fear of running out of juice. A problem so big, the $8 billion charging industry is struggling to keep up. But a new technology called dynamic charging could change the entire charging dynamic. So how does it work? And what does dynamic charging mean for widespread EV adoption? I'm Akiko Fujita, and this is what's next for EV charging. Logan, Utah is at the center of a push to electrify America's roads. 90 minutes north of Salt Lake City, this tiny strip of land is testing what some have described as the holy grail for electric vehicles. We just came onto the track now. Now it's starting to charge from the coils in the ground, hitting with the receiver on the semi underneath. This truck is pulling power wirelessly through coils that are underneath this road. So you can charge as you drive. The technology hasn't been deployed publicly in the U.S., but it could be the future of EV charging. It's called dynamic charging. These squares developed by Israeli startup Electrion quite literally transforms roads into charging pads. The copper coils connected to the power grid are at the heart of Electrion's system. They communicate wirelessly through these receivers installed under the vehicle. These allow us to uh, directly feed into the battery and charge the vehicles. Would these batteries be smaller if it can charge more constantly? Absolutely, because right now you need a lot of batteries because we have range anxiety otherwise. If we constantly are charging, you don't need big batteries. It's a potential breakthrough for a market poised to quadruple by the end of this decade, according to PwC. EV chargers are expected to grow to a $30 billion industry by 2030. Assuming that market can achieve 50% EV penetration, this market will be upward of like $40 billion. Electrion's technology is all operated remotely through its software and servers. That means it can dial down the charge when and where the power grid is stretched and dial up the power when usage is at its lowest. How does dynamic charging lessen the load on the power grid. For the utility, what this means is they can have a flexible managed load as it's moving from one substation to the next substation. As a vehicle has a small battery on board, it doesn't really matter whether it charges in this mile or the next mile, but that could mean everything to the utility. The average EV can travel up to 300 miles on a single charge. In 2023, Electrion quadrupled that range on this test track by rigging an SUV with dynamic charging. They've already signed a partnership with Toyota to integrate the technology into new cars. The potential to charge on the go is a big deal, especially in a city like Los Angeles, the most electrified in America. Nearly a quarter of the cars are EVs here. There are roughly 15,000 public chargers for 1.6 million electric vehicles in all of the state of California. And as an EV driver myself, I've learned it's tough to find a reliable charge when you need it most. Chargers are expensive, they're often slow, and they're hard to come by, especially for a majority of Americans who don't live in single family homes. Why are chargers so unreliable? Why do I have to go to five, yeah. six locations to just get a charge? It is very, very capital intensive. So for example, a 350 kilowatt charger can cost upwards of $250,000 and there is an installation cost as well. So economics are very, very challenging. Dynamic charging could help alleviate some of that demand, but it comes at a cost. $1.2 million per mile, to be exact. That could mean roughly $800 million just to install the coils on Los Angeles freeways. It's a cost that some countries are already shelling out. Sweden, Italy, Germany, and Israel are utilizing Electrion's technology. The U.S. is expected to be next in line with this road in Detroit. It'll be used to power shuttle buses with Electrion's technology. 
Those coils will be under the road on either side. So as that shuttle drives down this street from corner to corner, it will be charging as it drives. Detroit is expanding its investment with plans to add dynamic charging to a three quarter mile stretch of Michigan Avenue in 2024. It's a big bet on the future of electric cars in the birthplace of American cars, with one of the big three, Ford, a partner in the pilot project. Congress is also betting on the technology with a bill to help fund future in-road charging projects. Dynamic charging isn't meant to replace chargers, but complement them. The technology will lead to smaller batteries, which could ultimately lower the costs of electric vehicles. It could also help utilities manage the power demands that come with electrification and ultimately eliminate range anxiety altogether. But there is a long road between exciting potential and mass adoption with plenty of challenges. If dynamic charging continues to gain traction though, the promise of a seamless EV experience could finally be within reach.